morning on day three. So it's Sunday, Easter Sunday, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Take care, hope you had your Easter eggs. Um, let's do a quick, a really quick rundown yesterday because we didn't do the, uh, the viewing platform stuff. So Empire State Building, that's what I'm looking for. It was very good, very iconic, obviously, it's the Empire State Building. Uh, we had the queue jump tickets, so well worth it because the queue was very long. We got there at 11 and it was still a very long queue or long line. Uh, so the queue jump came in very handy. We were in front of someone who said, we were there at 11, someone in front of us said the last time they were there, first thing, and there was no one there at all. So definitely get there as early as you can if you do it. Um, queue jump works to get up to the 80th floor, everything after that, you're just in with the normal crowds, you don't get any extra um, queue jumping privileges, but it was great to be up there, good view of the city. If we take into account in the three we did before, so we've now done four viewing platforms in New York, we've done Top of the Rock, Empire, One World Trade Center and The Edge. All of them really good, all of them different views of, views of New York. What's your favorite? I liked the edge, because it had the outdoor bit as well. It's pretty yeah. good, nice high up, good views. Yeah, same. I thought it was better organized. It was more spacious, <coughs> more seating. So you know, when you're walking around all day, you want to sit and look. Um, nothing against the other places at all. They were all really, really good. Um, but yeah, Edge is the one. Edge is the one I'd recommend because you get a good view of all the iconic landmarks. Mm. From there. Yeah, I agree. We are now going to. We've got a bit of time to kill before we go in there. Concorde is back, so we're looking forward to see that. It's also a huge Norwegian cruise liner there. But yeah, this was a 15-minute walk from the hotel, so. So, on the Intrepid, first one's on. I wanted to go and do Concord, but you can't go in until April. It's March 31st. <laughs> but, that's cool. Not a bad backdrop. So it's thirty-six dollars to come in, and on their own website they had a discount code, which was winter twenty-four. I'm assuming it's going to be summer twenty-four, the next one or something. Twenty percent off. So if you, I mean, we literally pre-booked an hour before we came, which did mean you got to jump the queue again, which is handy, and got a discount. I can't feel it moving at all. No, it feels completely solid. You would not know you're on a boat. No. So growing up, we lived under the flight path, and it was always the uh, the head turner when this went over. It's such a shame we don't do it anymore. I can't believe we're like a day early from our opening. Well, the Space Shuttle Pavilion. In 1980. 1980? It's older than me. <laughs> and it was withdrawn from service in May 2004. Oh, shame. It was assembled in Bristol. 
Press the hole. Yeah. Welcome in. Morning. Oh, glasses, can't see. <laughs> Welcome to the Space Shuttle Pavilion. as well as others, all require us to make this effort. To solve these mysteries. To solve oh, I can see a sneak peek. And to become the world's leading space variant. This is cool. It's like a little Sputnik. Is it Sputnik? Is it Sputnik? The little... Oh, Enterprise. What was the one in Orlando we saw? Atlantis? No, that's the... I can't remember. I didn't expect all this in here. So definitely an advantage having your pre-book tickets. <laughs> See all before anyone else comes in. Random hand hand casts. Yeah, Maybe if you wonder what their hands look like, <laughs> it's Neil Armstrong, Buzz, and Michael from Apollo 11. American now. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh, I think it's just random then. Oh, got me excited then. <laughs> Thought it was a <laughs> very clever interactive. Around. Yeah. That's quite interesting. Hmm. Morning. Okay. Good morning. Would you guys like to check out your photos from today? Awesome. Good day. Thank you. Thank you. You too.
Action Dice. Right. Right, I'm going to go in. Navigation flags and bridges. Imagine when this was in uh, on the ocean, moving around. Mm. Hopefully, they weren't holding the camera trying to go up here. <laughs> yeah. Offices, cabin. Oops, breaking the ship. <laughs> Watch your head as well. Not in a weird way, but it's got that ex exact smell I expect. I mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oil. Old. Yeah. Oil, old metal. That's pretty cool. That's my shoe, I promise. <laughs> it's intrepid made of Lego. down to the hangar bay but this is the submarine which we've decided not to do just because of the line we have patience to a point <laughs> still enough that backdrop yep. all right so we're in this place on 7th avenue i forgot the name Seventh. i can't remember so what are you having first we can have half of that one, so I'll get a knife. No, sorry, just bite it, it's fine. It'll take longer to cut it than it will just to eat it. I'll let it cool for a sec. You're gonna have this first. Pepperoni. Pizza there on 9th Avenue and 46th Street West. And it was good. $17 for the free, and it was uh, 
it's tasty. It's good, good crusty bottom, held all together. But yeah, no, very tasty. Enjoyed it. Slowly making our way now to a subway. We need to go down to Eighth and then subway up to Central Park. Feeling a bit fatigued again. The plan was to get the uh, subway to the very north. Uh, we changed that 72 to get the express, and then we just thought we may as well get off there. It's nearly 20 minute wait for the next subway. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a long wait. Yeah. Right, so yet again the afternoon ran away with us and we went uh, Central Park and then hit a few bars and then went back to the hotel and just forgot to vlog again. But we're out for the evening retained, so we're now heading over to Westside Theatre to watch Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, lights changed. Because that's our show for this trip. Based, oh, the idea when we were in Vegas playing the slot, we were like, ah, wonder if they've got the show on in New York. And they have, and excitedly for us, uh, Audrey is being played by Evan Rachel. Oh god, I forgot to say her name. If you've, if, if you've watched uh, Westworld, the series, it's the woman that plays um, Dolores. She plays Audrey in this. So looking forward to seeing her on stage. Seymour, I'm afraid I can't remember who he's played by. I think it's more of a voice actor. Rachel Evans Wood, is it? But yeah. Little Shop of Horrors, very good, mm -hmm. but it's very good. Um, make sure they're going to watch the film now. It was the last night of Evan Rachel Wood and Darren Chris. Yes, couldn't work out why they were crying at the end. They had an extra long bit as I was saying goodbye, but no, it was very, very good. And like a couple of rows ahead of us was, um, I forgot his name now, the Flash actor. It was him when he walked out, definitely. So I wonder who's going to take the role. Do you remember that guy? He looks like he could. <laughs> but no, excellent show. What was it, Starbucks? See if you can go and get your mug. <laughs> Alright, back to the hotel, dump some of the merch off. And then maybe go for a drink somewhere. There's a bar next door, isn't there? But I think for tonight, that'll be a sign off. So catch up for a small one tomorrow because we're going home tomorrow so we've only got a few hours we're going to be downtown tomorrow so until then we'll both see you tomorrow yep see you bye, bye.